just 4.22 light years away, barely wading distance into the cosmic ocean. The star closest to our sun, a dim red dwarf named Proxima Centauri, turns out to have at least one possibly Earth-like planet. Astronomers are calling this world Proxima B. At one and a third times more massive than the Earth, it rides in the star's so-called habitable zone, where liquid water can exist, along with ice and water vapor. But don't get too excited about the possibilities for intelligent life. Researchers are not yet sure if this alien world is a dense rocky planet like Earth, or a much bigger ball of gas. The planet completes one of its orbits each 11.2 Earth days. Orbiting so close to its turbulent parent star, Proxima b is bombarded with X-rays 400 times stronger than what we receive from our Sun. The scientists also don't know if the planet has any moons. Our large, single moon seems to have played an important role in the evolution of life here. On the other hand, red dwarf stars can live hundreds of times longer than sun-like stars. So there may be plenty of time for biology to develop, adapt, and prosper. The detection was made by scientists of the Pale Red Dot campaign, using two especially sensitive instruments attached to the mountaintop telescopes of the European Southern Observatory at La Silla Chile in South America. A web of other observatories around the world has confirmed their findings. This discovery is the result of looking very closely at the wobbles of that star for 16 years. Data had hinted at such a planet for much of that time, but unambiguous proof came only in early 2016, along with teasing clues to a possible second planet at least five times further out in the system. Proxima b does not transit across the face of its parent star along the line of sight to Earth, which is how most of the exoplanets have been found so far. Sadly, that means researchers have one less method to see what sort of atmosphere Proxima b may have, but they may be able to sense the planet's glow with a future generation of detectors. How long is a day on Proxima b? Astronomers are not yet sure. Like many exoplanets lying close into their stars, Proxima b may be in tidal lock with its star, as the moon is with our Earth, so the planet's day and its year may be the same, in which case its surface temperature variations might look something like this. Or it may rotate three times for each two revolutions around its star, like planet Mercury does as it moves around our Sun. That would make for a much more even climate, which might be better for living organisms. Even though the red dwarf Proxima is much smaller than our Sun, it would look quite a bit larger in the skies of planet Proxima b because it's much closer to that world. Will eyes from Earth ever voyage there to see for themselves the red sunrise and any alien creatures that may be present? It's not out of the question. This red dwarf and its planets are part of the three-star family named Alpha Centauri. If engineers can get a lightweight probe up to a significant fraction of the speed of light, the journey to this fascinating system might only take a few decades. A few spacecraft have already proven they can survive for such periods. And now, this new era of interstellar exploration may have just identified its first target. For Space.com, I'm David Sky Brody. Space.com.